Right, I'm live. Well, Sorry, Is that on the hit program? Yeah. Yeah. Good enough Wi-Fi. We're good enough 4G. Yeah, I, think, I, I can't do it on 4G. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, maybe I should do my 4G. So Wi-Fi's bad. Yeah. Well, I just want to risk it running out. Yeah. That's true. Let's, um... Okay, we should be, should be good to go. Cool. Right. Let's go. Let's go. I do mind. Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to live workout number 82,497. I uh, hope everyone is safe and well and staying motivated to get back in the gym. Uh, we've got a good session today. If you join us regularly, you'll know that Saturdays is conditioning and then call. We do our strength sessions on the Wednesdays. If you missed that one, you can head over to our YouTube and catch it there. Good on Instagram. We're going to do a nice uh, warm up to start with, and then we're going to go through this, uh, which is a 15 minute EMOM, and I'll go through it in more detail. But we've got burpees, um, reverse lunges, and push ups, and then some core work. We've got uh, mountain climbers, straight leg toe touches, on and off. We'll go through all that in more detail, but first off, we're going to get nice and warm. Follow along with the demos, um, and hopefully you will be able to hear me uh, put you through the session. So enjoy. What we're going to start with, guys, is we're going to do 15 star jumps. Okay, 15 star jumps. To start with, nice and easy. And we're going to do a little bit of stretching, get nice and loose. What we're going to do is uh, 15 star jumps. Yes. Yeah. Once we've 15 star jumps, take a nice, not long lunge. Bring the back knee down, and we're going to do some world's greatest stretch. So we're going to take the opposite uh, opposite hands, we're going to place it on the ground, put the knee this forward, and then we're going to take our elbow as closest to our leg. We're going to go down towards the ground, we're going to reach up, oh, the sky. Now you might be a little bit stiff, don't worry about pushing it too hard. We're just going to do five on each side. We're going to do this, uh, that once again. And when you come back to these world's greatest stretch, maybe we have to go a little bit deeper. The second, the second final line. Lovely. Uh, five. We're going to do that once more, guys. So 15 star jumps, five worlds to get a stretch, stretches on each side, and then we're going to move on to some activation stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Just getting nice and warm. My warm ups, my warm ups evolving as I, as I go. It's learning. Yeah, it's a worry. I thought I was just in my, in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whee! Good stuff, guys. Now, like I say, you might just go a little bit deeper this time around. Um, maybe you feel it in your back as you twist. Maybe you feel it in your hips, or hip flexors, or your groin as you lunge. Either is totally normal. What we're going to do now is we're going to do um, some activation stuff. We're going to do some reverse scapular push ups. So these are one of our um, demo videos uh, that we've got on social media. Really good for one at the back. As it's going to demonstrate, you're basically going to sit down, pop your hands behind you, you lift your bum off the ground so slightly, and then just using your shoulder blades, you're going to move up and down. So notice the most important thing really is to add these arms and totally stroke. Okay? So you're just thinking about shrugging your shoulders towards your ears and then pushing your shoulders away from you. Thanks, Addy. So it's going to be 10 scapular push-ups, a reverse scapular push-ups. And I'll take the next thing when we get there. So yeah, try and keep everything still except shoulders up and then shoulders down. You're pressing through the palms. Good, try and keep the arms nice and straight all the time. Great work. Then we're going to hop up. We're going to have a slightly wider stance on our mat. We're going to do some lateral lunges. Just 10 of those will open up the hips a little bit. Don't go too wide to start with, it might be a little bit, like a little bit tight if you've just uh, woken up not so long ago. Keep the one foot planted, well, hopefully planted ideally if you can. One leg straight, one leg bent, sending your hips back. Back stays nice and flat, so we're not getting that 
pelvis sort of tuck under, pushing off the bent leg to return to the starting position. And again, we're going to do that once more as well. Once you've done your 10 um, lateral lunges, it's going to be 10 step to the push ups, uh, reverse step to the push ups, and then 10 lateral lunges. This motion, that motion, that's it. Let the shoulders come close to the ears. Sacrifice any of those points that we just went through, aka the flat feet or the, uh, the nice flat back. Good stuff. What we're going to do now, guys, our final part of the warm up is we're going to our backs and we're going to do a group bridge hold just to warm up the glutes nicely. Okay, so we're going to have our, our heels roughly underneath our knees. Uh, hands can go out or down by our sides. I'm going to push our arms up to the sky. 20 seconds, here we go. That's on my watch. Think about keeping the core squeezed as well as squeezing the glutes as hard as you can. It's not necessarily about how high you can get your hips, but you do want to have your hips up off the ground. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. You can stay down on the floor, guys, because you're going to come onto your front. And we're going to do some prone scap angels. Okay, so our demos will demonstrate. You lie on the ground. Squeeze your bum, lift your toes off the ground slightly, and then bring your hands from your pockets all the way to overhead and back down. Trying to keep the hands nice and high off the ground. You might touch your, 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 your partner's. Um, you work out where he's hand on the way past him. Just don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> or do make eye contact, I don't know. Depends. Yeah. Or make eye contact the entire time. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Good. Five of those guys, just five of those nice and slow, well And we're gonna do that once more. So the glute bridge and the scap, the front scap angel, scap the gap. Lovely. So it's our final round of board, guys. Three, two, one, squeezing up. Core squeezed as well, so we haven't got an arch in our back or anything. Core squeezed, glute squeezed. 20 seconds worth of really squeezing. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Well, sorry, no, rest there on the blue bridge into our scap angels again. Just five reps. Nice and slow. Oh, yeah, I think that might work. It'll work. Remember, even though that we're, the main focus here is, is putting those shoulder blades back and getting the arms off the ground, we do also want to squeeze the bum at the same time. Good job. Imagine you've got some pot holes or whatever underneath your hands. You're trying to get your, your arms as high off the ground as possible. What's the advice? Stay down there. There's one last thing we're going to do in the one, and I promise we are done, is we're going to do 10 plank to push up. Okay, so we're going to start in a push-up position, top of a push-up, just like normal. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down onto our forearms one at a time, and then back up to our starting position. Again, core squeezed, thumb squeezed, and we're just shifting the weight from one hand to another. And then we'll be ready to rock. We'll demo some of these uh, warm-up moves. Race up. Grab a drink there, guys. And then we'll demo through uh, the, we'll go through the workout, sorry. So, it's nice and simple, the workout today. It's 15 minutes long, and uh, what you do is you work for a minute at a time, also known as an e -mom. You're going to do, in the first minute, 12 to 20 hand release burpees, okay? Then you're going to do, in the second minute, 20 to 30 reverse lunges. And in the third minute, 
20, uh, 12 to 20 push-ups. So we're going to go through those three moves. To be honest, the rep ranges, they're not really, like, they're not solid, that's just a guide. If you find that the push-ups are hard for you, just pick a number and try and stay consistent with it. Um, I recommend that you want to try and get at least over five, though. If you can't quite do five in the minute, you probably want to go to one of the scales. Same sort of thing with the burpees. Pick a number. If it's eight, if it's ten, if it's twelve, if it's twenty-five, try and stick to it um, and make the minute nice and challenging. So, first and foremost, and release burpees. Nice and easy. As he's going uh, to hop down into a plank position, lower himself to the ground, lift his hands off the ground, press back up, pop his feet up, and a little up on the top. Lovely. Just one more for me, Anthony. It's just like a normal burpee, but you take your hands off the ground. Great. Second one, reverse lunges. You get stacked in the front of your mat, you're going to uh, alternate legs, go back, step back, gently touch your knee on the ground, and step back up. With this one, guys, the main thing, really, is to think about pressing off the front foot, uh, keeping the weight in the heel of the front foot, mainly. You can't go too far wrong. Don't stand too narrow, um, otherwise you might feel like you're unbalanced. Well, that great. Um, so, 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 just have your feet shoulder width, hip width apart, and then finally, press ups and press ups. As you're going to demo, a nice normal press up. Oh. See how he's got his elbows nice and tucked in to the sides? Um, that's been easy, yeah, lovely. Okay, we don't really want the elbows flaring out so much. We'll try and keep the, 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 yeah, we don't really want that so much. Okay, if we can get away from that, that'd be great. Scales for the push ups, like we just said, end of the demo, the eccentric push ups, you start at the top, and you lower yourself down nice and slowly, elbows close all the way down, and then you help yourself back up on the way up. Those would also be really good for building strength, uh, or you could do a block push up. So, um, are you going to do blocks or eccentric then? It's not obviously. No, sorry, didn't he But you could do a block push up, which is where you're on a um, table or, or a box or a sofa or whatever it is, you're doing the exact same thing as a regular push up. The standards don't change, it just makes it slightly easier because you don't have your whole body weight. Okay, guys, so pick a number of reps um, and, we'll, and we'll get ready for 15 minutes. So it's going to be five rounds through. Okay, five rounds through. See how the first round goes. You start to test the waters, and then you'll get an idea of what you're going to kind of be going after each uh, each minute. Okay, and then the final minute, you just put your send. Yes, yeah, ready to go. And then and then I'll do it. Ready, team. Here we go. I'll talk it through. Ten seconds. First minute is going to be our hand release burpees, and we're off. Hand release burpees. We've got, on the board, we've got 12 to 20 written down. See how you get on, like I said. Okay, this is only the first minute. So I'd say, moving nice and quickly, nice and smoothly, keep your breathing regular. See how many we can get. We want to be working for minimum 30 seconds of each minute. Okay, so if you're, if you're speedy at burpees, and you get 12 done for 4 30 seconds, I would do another couple. Okay, so you're at least working for a minimum of 30 seconds per minute, looking really to be 45 ish. That's 15 seconds to go, guys. Lovely. So we're getting ready for the next, the next minute now, which is our reverse lunges 20 to 30 reps, alternating legs. 3, 2, 1. And we're off. Lovely stuff. These ones, at least you can breathe a little bit more. Okay, so make sure you're sucking in if the burpees um, do have in that heart rate. Keep the weight in that front foot. We're only gently touching the knee on the back uh, on the ground. Because there's got to be an element of control in there. I feel like these we should probably be looking to get up towards the 13 mark. If you're really, really quick, or you decided to do jumping lunges or something at home, you might even do more. That's 25 seconds to go of the minute. We're probably approaching that 30 mark now. Are we at it? That's it. No, that's 24. There you go. Oh, okay. 24. Okay. Yeah, that's right. 50 seconds to go, guys. 50 seconds to go. Next one is our push-ups. This one's probably where you're going to get the most rest, guys, if you can smash out some push-ups in 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. 
Good work, Em. Nice eccentrics there. Good. The main thing with the eccentrics, guys, it doesn't necessarily matter how slow you go. What matters is you've got control through the range, so you're not falling at any point. Even if you are moving fairly quickly, as long as you're controlling your speed, that's the main thing. Feel those? If you're doing eccentrics, I recommend you probably try and go for six to ten eccentric push-ups. And see how you go. Yeah, that's good, that's fine. Well done, guys. Grab a drink. That's our first round through. We've got four more to go. Make a little note of what you've got, or a mental note of what you've got uh, on each round. See if you can match it or beat it. That'll be the goal. Match it or beat it. Ten seconds before we start round two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lovely. Arms are probably a little fatigued after those push ups. So try not to use too much of your energy to get down. You want to be sort of, sort of uh, falling with style, in other words, of buzz like it. That's right. Good work, guys. Keep working now. Try and hit uh, the same reps or maybe one more than we did in the first round. We've got 30 seconds left, so keep working. Great stuff. 20 seconds to go on this minute. Well done. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Grab a quick breather. Now remember, you can breathe in these lunges. You can breathe in these lunges. Okay, three. Two, one. Here we go. Reverse lunges. Here we go, reverse lunges. 
Let those arms relax, let them hang. You want to you wanna save your arms as much as you can for those push-ups and burpee rounds. Keep breathing, find a rhythm, and then off you go. Great work, guys. That's approaching, that is now 30 seconds of a minute. Good job. Try and keep the hands off the knees if you can, guys, on the lunges. We don't want to don't have any support there, really, from our body. And then 10 seconds to the push-up round, guys. Now, if you start to get tired, that's fine. You start breaking them up a little bit into smaller sets with a short break. Here we go. Try and get a couple out. Rest for a little, a little bit, and then back in. Well done, guys. Good work. Good work. 45 seconds left in this minute. Let's see if you can get those same amount of push-ups you did in the first round. It's going to be getting hard now, no doubt. It's going to be getting hard now. Good job, good job. Is that it, Emma? Good work. This is our little breather now, guys. Grab a sip of water. We've got two left. So you've broken the back of it now. Two left. It's going to be challenging to keep those reps the same. If you come this far, you can do it. Here we go, five seconds and we're back to those hammer release burpees. Here we go. Well done guys, you did very well. Just a quick hammer release up at the bottom. Job guys, let me start. We're working hard now, we're working hard now. It's good, well done. Hands only have to leave the floor just for a moment. And then you're pushing and popping those feet up towards the hands. Well done guys. That's 15 seconds to go. Well done. Probably getting a little bit slower now than, they, than you were, and that's absolutely fine. To be expected. Remember, you can breathe through these lunges. Here we go. Three, two, one. Breathe, relax the arms, and just find the rhythm and keep moving through the lunges. Well done, well done. If 
you've dropped off throughout the rounds, don't worry, this is your chance to try and get back to, uh, to the first round numbers. Good job, guys. Keep working, keep working. It's our final round of Hamley's Burpees. 30 seconds to go. Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing, yeah. Well done, guys. Keep moving. Good job. Good job. You can breathe now. You can breathe on these lunges. Here we go. Three, two, one. Final set reverse lunges, guys. Keep breathing, relax the arms, and see if you can match the score. Now don't worry if you can't beat your score, guys. Just the fact you're up and you're doing a workout is, is good stuff. It's just a good way to regulate the intensity. Okay? Knowing just to push a little harder on that final round when we're under, under a bit of fatigue. Well done, guys. Just 60 more seconds of work, or not even quite that, to try and get as many press ups as we did in the first round. Maybe one more for good luck. Okay? Final minute coming up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Last minute, guys. Let's work. Here we go. Try and keep the standards high, even though the fatigue is at its highest. Good work, guys. Yeah, well done. Well done. Good job, guys. Lovely. Nice. 40 seconds to go. We've got plenty of time to make sure we get those reps in. Let's see if we can't beat our score. Even if it's just by one. 30 seconds to go. Good work, Em. Go on, Auntie. Nice and control, Em, all the way. Especially that one bit. Good job. Well done. 20, uh, 15 seconds to go. See if we can squeeze a couple more out to finish. Very <laughs> That's good. Well done, guys. Good job. Good job. Rest there, guys. Well done. That's your minute up, and that's, and that's half past. That's the end of the last workout. Yeah, yeah. Well done, guys. Good job. That was the end of the condition. Very good. How's it looking swole after all those push ups? Yeah, Cool. Right, guys. We've got a little bit of core to finish. Um, it's it's going to be good. It's going to be tough, actually. Especially if you just joined in and did that workout. Your arms are probably feeling a little bit dead already. Most of this, though, is just core. Cool. There is one way of supporting yourself on your, on your arms, so um, that'll, um, that'll be tough, I imagine. Here's how we're going to do it, guys. Just a little core carnage to finish. It's five minutes. Five minute AMRAP. You're going to do 20 crossover mountain climbers, 20 straight leg toe touches, 20 seconds hollow hold, or some variation of the hollow hold. This won't be too easy, guys, but it will be good. Okay? Let's demo each of these moves. Ooh, Harry's uh, Adam's changed into Harry. Here we go. The, uh, the mountain climbers, crossover mountain climbers, so similar to normal, start on your plank, except this time you bring your knee to opposite leg. Uh, knee to opposite elbow, sorry. Okay, as you can see, Harry demonstrated there. Bit of a twist, gets the obliques involved a little bit more. That'll be tough if you just done the workout because your arms are probably fried, so just support yourself, you're quite tough. Then we're going to go onto our back. We've got two moves that involve lying down for the most part. The first one is the straight leg toe touch. This one's quite um, quite simple in, in its description, but not its execution. Legs go straight up in the air, and then all you're going to do is try to touch your toes. Okay, if you can, don't let your back come all the way to the ground, so you're kind of pulsing up and down, um, touching your toes. Um, although they do get hard, and when you want to break, do just fully lie down. And then finally, it's the auto hold. We've done this quite a few times before, guys. Bum squeeze, toes off the ground, 
upper back off the ground, arms above your head. If that's too hard, you need to come to a bent hold hold. Knees tucked into the chest, back off the ground, and try and breathe. Remember to breathe. Either one of those should be challenging. Okay, bent hold holds not, are not easy. So if you feel your back coming off the ground in the hollow hold, go to the bed one. Okay? How much of each one? We're doing 20 of each. So 20, 20 crossover climb, uh, mountain climbs, 20 toe touches, and then 20 seconds of hollow hold, which is always the worst. And the is very slow. <laughs> Five minutes of work, guys. Um, not really sure, probably three or four rounds, something like that, I imagine. Um, Depends how, quickly you do those, depends how quickly you do those crossover mountain climbers. But I like the arrows demoing them, really trying to drive the knee hard. Um, are we ready? Yeah. Let's rock and roll. Five minutes counted down on the clock. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we're starting with our crossover mountain climbers. Trying to drive the knee towards the opposite elbow. You don't need to touch it, but you're just, you're just putting it in that general direction. Once we've done 20, 10 on each leg, we're going to go onto our back and we're going to do 20 straight leg toe touches. I find these, you've got to just do them quick. Just do them quick, don't mess them out. Try and touch as high up your foot as you can. In the later rounds, or even from the start, you might want to go 10 and 10. Try not to let your back touch the ground, pulse. And then once you've done those, it's a 20 second hollow hold. Now you could be bent in your hollow hold. There we go, good job guys. Or you can do an active hollow hold like the demos are doing here. Squeezing the bum, trying to get the upper back off the ground too. Right. Nearly there guys, good job. You guys went on the 10, right? So five, Four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. So, you might have to start breaking some of these into slightly smaller sets. That's absolutely fine. Okay, especially those straight leg toe touches or the hollow hold into two lots of 10 seconds. But if you can, keep them unbroken. Do it. Well done, guys. Good job, good job. Keep moving. Well done, guys. Good job. Good job. Huh? My belly. My belly. Good job, guys. Just over three minutes left of work. This will get tough very quick, guys. This will get tough very quick. Try and reach those laces then. Good job. It's not shin touches. Straight no shin touches. <laughs> Good job. Go on, they get tough hard. They get tough quick. Yeah, bent hollow hold, not easy though. Remember to keep breathing. There we go, good job. The bent hollow hold, guys, really, really good. You want to think about trying to tuck yourself into the smallest ball possible by getting your knees in and your, your back up. I promise you, not easy that one at all. Keep breathing as well, guys. You forget to breathe sometimes when you've got the core under that much tension. Keep that back press into the ground. The ribs down, so we're not flaring up. Way over halfway now, guys, so you're doing a great job. About two minutes to go then. Let's keep working. Yeah, that's what happens when someone takes a big chunk out of your hamstring and threads it through your knee. These straight leg toe touches. Oof. Good job you don't need your core for your rowing intervals, eh, Ask? Yeah. yeah. Slowly turn around, that as well. Under 90 seconds to go, guys. Under 90 seconds. Keep working. Keep working now. Good work, guys. Good work. Good work. A couple of breaths and then back in on those toe touches. You can get them out quick. You can get them out quick. Oh. Oh no. What happened? It's making a lot of weird noise. No, the time is 
God, and now I don't know what. Keep going. One minute to go. We say, guys, one minute to go. I'm not sure what happened with the timer. Eh? I feel like it might just reset on the thing. No, way out a minute. 45 seconds to go, then, guys. Way out. Here we go. We'll go to 45 on the clock, guys. So we got what? Just over 30 seconds left. Good job, guys. 25 seconds to go. See what you can squeeze in. 20 seconds left, guys. Neck and balls. Neck and balls. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there, guys. Well done. Well done. Good job, guys. That concludes Saturday's session. Don't know why I was going to the whiteboard. If you missed it, we're going to catch any of our others. Head over to um, our YouTube channel and you can see them all there. Otherwise, we'll see you next week for uh, live workouts Wednesday and Saturday. It's definitely more tight access. Goodbye. It's cool workouts.